Hey there, gentle people. I am in the digital weaving lab at SCAD, the Savannah College of Art and Design. And although we didn't do any digital weaving, um, we kind of used the computers back here because we worked on our designs in Photoshop um, before we started to kind of play around with them. Uh, so this class uh, was the digital surface design class and it was cool because we printed um, our designs not just on fabric um, but also on vinyl. So I'm going to show you a couple of the pieces, well three of the pieces that I worked on. You probably hear it echoing because I am the last person left in the building. Yesterday, the bus driver was like, every time I come to pick them up, I don't see you. And I'm like, I know, I'm like always the last person. I just, I love this building. It, I'm just smitten. Everything fiber and textiles takes place here. And I'm a fiber and textiles girl. So, okay, so let me show you the first piece. Um, this hair... This is on silk. Ooh, can you see? This was actually, let me just stick it right here. This was actually a design that I did on a jelly plate. So it was mono printing with acrylic ink and I printed this design on fabric. And I did it months ago, but there's something about this design that just, I don't know, I love it. It's like one of my favorite things that I've ever done. So what I did was I kind of, cut it down in Photoshop and I tweaked it just a smidge, not too much because I am no Photoshop guru. And then I did some sublimation printing on this piece of fabric. So this fabric was not printed in the uh, digital printing machine. This is like hand crank sublimation with heat. So what happens, it's on sublimation paper and there is sublimation ink. So the same machine that actually prints the fabric, prints this paper, and then you can use heat to apply it. So this is kind of like, a, I don't know, it feels kind of silky. If my mother was here, she could tell you. So that's what this is. So um, it's cool. And then the other thing that I did was we had, it was more sublimation printing, but we had some vinyl and then we had foil. So what I did, oh and the pieces are kind of bending here. What I did was I put the foil on top of the vinyl. It's kind of hard to see. Let me hang this behind it and see if that kind of helps. So I kind of put the vinyl, the foil on top of the vinyl and it gave it like this crazy pattern. So what this would be really cool for, I don't know, I'm thinking I could make like a little tote out of it, a little clutch purse or I could do some journals. So I did them in a bunch of different colors. I have this whole pile here behind me of just too much stuff. This one I love because you can kind of you can kind of see it a little bit better on this one. So again, this is vinyl and this is uh, foil on top of the vinyl and it's sublimation printing. So I put it in a machine, it was like 353 degrees and I left it for a minute. And this is the uh, fancy design. Oh, I crushed the foil before I put it um, through the machine. So I plan to do some, some hot stuff with uh, this right here. And, hold on. This is that same design that I was showing you guys earlier. And I also did my, initial, the design that I did mono printing a couple months ago, I also put it on the vinyl, but of course it's not going to look as vibrant. So it was on um, sublimation paper. Well, actually it was on a, like a gold foil paper that works with sublimation. And then I put this in the machine as well. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one yet. Maybe a purse or a journal, we'll see how it goes. So that is it, gentle people. Like I said, I'm the last person in the building, like security going push me out or something. And lunchtime was almost three hours ago and I have not eaten since seven o'clock this morning so uh let me get to it so again thank you so much for being here with me um i've been having such a good time and i'm glad i get to share it with you guys so anywho thank you for your time your presence and i will talk to you soon peace